Welcome to today's video, where I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing and using the NSVPN tunnel application on your Android device. This VPN comes with its own high-speed servers, supports multiple protocols, and ensures unlimited and secure browsing for all your needs. Let's get started. First, open the Play Store by tapping on the Play Store icon on your device. Once you're on the Play Store home screen, tap on the search icon to proceed. In the search bar, type NSVPN Tunnel and press Enter. Carefully look through the results and tap on NSVPN Tunnel. You'll notice its VPN icon, which makes it easier to identify. Next, tap on the Install button to begin downloading the application. Depending on your internet connection, this may take a few moments, so please be patient. Once installation is complete, tap on Open to launch the VPN. On the first launch, you may be asked to allow notifications. You can either allow or decline based on your preference. Now you'll arrive at the home screen of NSVPN Tunnel. Please note, you'll need mobile data or Wi-Fi for the servers to load. Once the servers update, the VPN may restart automatically. This is normal, so just wait a few seconds. On the home screen, you'll find two main sections. The first is for selecting servers, and the second is for choosing protocols. To select a server, tap on the server section and browse through the list of available locations. You can select any server you prefer and change it whenever you want. After choosing a server, it's time to select a protocol. Tap on the Tweaks button and you'll see a list of different built-in protocols. Scroll down the list and choose one that works best for you. If you'd like to use custom settings instead of the built-in tweaks, simply tap the radio button next to custom settings at the top right corner. A new window will open where you can select from protocols such as SLOWDNS, V2RAY, SSL settings, and more. Some of these require custom servers while others can use the built-in ones. Once you've set everything up, return to the home screen you'll see a large Start button. Tap on it to connect the VPN. Within a few seconds, your connection will be established and you'll be ready to browse securely. If you'd like to share the VPN with other devices or computers, go to the side menu, select Tethering, and turn on the option to enable sharing. And that's it. You've successfully installed, set up, and connected to NSVPN Tunnel. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more step-by-step -step tutorials and tech content. Your support means a lot and keeps me motivated to bring you the latest tips and guides.